Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Ricky Inside channel. It has been a very, very long time. So in case you didn't know, I'm pregnant and Ricky and I are having a baby. Whoa, so I didn't know that. <laughs> Ricky is here with me, but he's in the background. You know, he's my cameraman. So, you know, <laughs> there you go. You, you got to see a hand reveal today. Okay. So for everyone that says Ricky's never in it, boom, he's just in the video. <laughs> so today I thought before we get back to vlogging and all that good stuff, I asked you guys what kind of videos you guys wanted to see. And all of you, well, most of you guys said you wanted to see a pregnancy. Q&A. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I asked you guys to send your questions on Instagram and also on the community tab. So I got loads of questions. I wrote them all down because a lot of the questions were the same. So I thought, you know, I'm going to ask the most common questions. So are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. You're ready? Okay, yeah. good. So let's start off. There's no particular order. So we're just going to read these and answer them all for you guys. By the way, some of you guys had some weird questions. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. So the first question is, do you want more kids? And when do you plan to have the next one? Okay, this question kind of shocked me because our little baby isn't even here yet. And you guys are already talking about another one. Let's see how this one goes first. Okay, let's see how this one turns out. And then we'll talk about the possibility of more kids. Ideally, I would want two kids, but we're seeing how this first one goes. Because <laughs> if it's a little rascal, we might just have one. <laughs> two might be too much. All right, and then the next question is, have you picked out a name? No, we haven't. The problem with us is we're so indecisive and the name has to be perfect for our perfect little baby. So I don't know. We really don't have any idea yet. We've started looking for girl and boy names, but nothing has just, you know, resonated with our souls yet. So if you guys have any name suggestions, keep them coming because you never know. We might decide to name the kid after one of your suggestions. Next question is, what are your pregnancy cravings? This is always my answer. I don't crave anything in particular, I just crave everything. Have I craved anything? No, huh? You have cravings, but they change all the time. Yeah, my cravings change. Like sometimes I'll crave donuts. Other times I'll just crave like papaya or something. So it just, it just changes. And that craving will be crazy until I get what I want. Because if I don't like, for instance, I was craving donuts and I just couldn't stop thinking about it until I had it. And then once I did, it was so delicious. And then I moved on to something else. <laughs> so no weird cravings. Like I don't eat like pickles and ketchup or anything weird like that. Nothing like that. It's just normal foods that I crave. Now, another question was, what is it like being pregnant? So this is, you know, I really like being pregnant. I actually do love being pregnant. I love my belly growing and all that stuff, but it's not easy. I'm not going to sit there and say like, it's like all perfect and wonderful because it's not. The headaches have not been fun. My nose being congested all the time is not fun. Waking up like four times to go wee in the middle of the night while I'm trying to sleep. It's not that great, but I still love being pregnant. And Ricky always tells me it's all worth it in the end because when the little baby's here, you're going to look back at it and be like, it was all worth it. So that's what I just keep telling myself. Mm -hmm. And then I had some questions for you, actually. Me? Yeah, for you, mister. These questions are for you. So it was, how does Ricky feel about being a dad or like you being pregnant? And how did Ricky react when you guys found out that you were pregnant? So first thing is, a lot of people did ask like how we both reacted when we found out. When I found out, I was like, who's the daddy? Yeah, he was like, who's the daddy? Because it's not me. <laughs> No, I actually did a whole video on my main channel. I'll link it in the description. I talked about how I found out I was pregnant, our reaction, and kind of like what happened right after and all that good stuff. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you go check it out. The sun just came out. Oh my gosh, look how bright I look on camera. <laughs> I'm like glowing. Oh, she's gone now. <laughs> that was short lived. Okay. And then with that being said, a lot of people asked how did our families react and how did our parents react and stuff. My mom was ecstatic because my mom has been wanting to be a grandma for like forever. So she was just like about time. 
and Ricky's parents were really excited as well. I think everyone was really excited. To be honest with you, everyone was I like more. How you just skipped over the two questions that you asked was me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, I did say one of them I've already talked about in another you video. You answered my question. <laughs> Okay, let me finish this one. We'll go back to Ricky's question. I forget about it. It's pregnancy brain. I'm pregnant. That's the best part about being pregnant. Everything you do is just like, well, I'm pregnant. Can't be bothered to clean. I'm pregnant. Forget stuff. I'm pregnant. So yeah, our parents, our families were all really, really excited. I was most surprised by my grandma's reaction because my grandma's very mellow. You know, she's a very chill lady. And when we told her, she was like really, really happy. And that made me really excited and emotional as well. So everyone was just happy. Everyone's just over the moon. And yeah, I can't wait for everyone to get to meet the little baby. So now let's go back to Ricky's question because I forgot. So it was, how do you feel about like be, becoming a dad and me being pregnant and all that good stuff? Excited. Excited? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> he said, that's it. Nothing else. Just... No, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It is exciting because I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And that's exciting. That's yeah. Good. You don't know what the future is going to hold, but it's good because we get to go on this new journey. It is a brand new journey for both of us, huh? Yeah. But we always say, like, we we always work so well together and we always do everything together that when I'm not like nervous or scared about being a parent because I just know that we're all we're always just gonna figure it out that we balance each other out so well that it's just all gonna work out I'm not saying it's gonna be easy I'm not saying that we're not gonna have like challenges but I know that in the end we'll always just work well together it's never easy it's no it's never easy for anybody no one's ever pre fully no prepared no one ever says raising a kid is easy that's, no that's obvious number one but the main thing is you have to work together as a team and we're a good team. We are. And that's it. Oh my gosh, we're such a good team together. <laughs> we are though. I always say like, I just, I just feel like we balance each other out very well. Like I just feel like I have probably will have a tendency to be a bit more strict or too strict. But I feel like Ricky balances me out in the sense that he could sit there and tell me like, just chill, let them have fun, you know, let them live their life. And I'm like, okay, I need to calm down. So we just work well together. So I wouldn't say, cause I did get a few questions like, are you nervous? Are you scared and stuff like that? I, got, I have my moments sometimes where I'm just like, you have to take care of this brand new little baby that depends on you hundred percent. So obviously it is scary, but I just, I feel like in the end, it'll all, it'll all be all right. And we're going to raise a good little human. By the way, everyone finds it weird that I call my little baby a little human. But it is a little human. My I, little human baby. I find it weird too. <laughs> yeah, Ricky finds it weird too. So you're not the only one. All right. So where was I? Um, oh, will you, um, like, do you plan to film the birth or do like a baby delivery vlog? We're going to show you every detail. You're going to see the baby coming out. Ew! No! You don't even want to see that, so don't even lie. Okay, the answer to this is no. Okay, there's a few things that I'm not sure about in regards to YouTube, but this is going to be a no. If Ricky tried to put a camera in front of me while I was in pain, trying to like get this baby out, I would murder him. He would never do that. To be honest with you, I don't think we're going to show the baby straight away. No, I think no. It might be like a couple months before you see it. Yes, well, now we'll get to that because a lot of people ask about the baby and stuff. Well, actually, I can answer that now. So a lot of people ask, like, do we plan to um, film the baby? Like, do we plan to do videos with the baby? Will the baby have a YouTube channel? And all that good stuff. So I'm just going to answer that now. I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be kind of a long answer because this is a very important question. Now, right now, I don't mind sharing everything with you guys because it's me it's it's me talking to you guys it doesn't involve like it's not the baby just yet the baby's not here yet so um when it comes to me i don't mind but with the baby it's a different story um the internet's a great place but sometimes it's not as well and it's just scary to put a baby out there also who knows when our kid is five they might not be interested in 
YouTube and being in videos and I am not going to exploit my child and I'm not going to force them to be in videos if they don't want to, to be. be. So, so the way I see it, when they when they're first born, this is our first child. Yeah. So we need to have that time for ourselves. Yeah. To bond with the child. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing is not in our head is not going to be oh let's film it. Let's, yeah. Let's record a YouTube video for it. And I know some of you might be disappointed because you guys are excited as us, mm -hmm. but you just have to understand you need to give us time because it's our first kid. Yeah. And we need to take time to settle in, get used to things. You don't know what condition you're going to be in. You might be in pain afterwards. You don't know. So you need to give us time to settle down, get in a routine, get things sorted out and give us time to bond with our baby yeah. before we choose to post any pictures if we do choose to do that i think that's a good way to put it as well um it's true it is our first child we have no idea what that's going to be like i have no idea what state of mind i'm going to be in um, or how my body is going to be afterwards or anything like that and i just feel like um i know some people do it they're like the baby pops out and they just start vlogging and stuff and that's their choice but um it's everyone's own choice exactly everyone's different yeah everyone's different everyone and will do what they want to do everyone this is just what we want to do mm -hmm. and everyone is comfortable sharing different things and for us it's it's scary it's scary to me it's scary to think like you know when when i go out and i get recognized and someone's like oh can i take a picture with you i'm totally fine with it because it's me i'm an adult i can make those decisions but then to think that if we start putting our child out there, people might do the same thing to them. I, I don't know. I don't want people posting pictures of our baby and like all of that stuff makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And I, it might change when, you know, the baby's here and stuff. But I think we have to just go with the flow of it and, and see how we feel and make that decision when we're ready. Mm -hmm. And to ask us whether the kid's going to have a YouTube channel. We don't know. No, because we again, don't, we don't know. Like, our kid might not want anything to do with YouTube. And I'm not going to force them to be in videos if that's not something they want to do. Now, um, if, the, if the kid comes up to us and says, can I be in a video with you, mom and dad? We'll be like, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. And like, if they're like, mm, I'm shy, I'm like, okay, don't have to do it. Don't yeah. do you don't want to do it. Yeah, if, they, if it's not, they're not comfortable, then no, don't do it if you want to then yes, you're more than welcome to like take part in it and stuff. But we have to remember that this is still a child and that right. this is like a crucial stage in their life and the decisions that you make when a child is that young are very important in determining if, the rest of their life. If the question is, are they going to have a YouTube channel as a baby? No. The answer is no. <laughs> no, they're because not going to. If, if you're ever going to see them on a YouTube channel as a baby, it would be this channel. Yes. That's the only yeah. channel you would ever see. Now. Them. Now, when they get like, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, then if they, um, want, if they yeah. want to, then they can. I'm not going to stop them. But if they don't, then they don't have to. Yeah, they're not never going to pressure them. Put nothing, push someone to do mm -hmm. something they don't want to do. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that we're not going to keep you guys updated. Like... Um, once the baby is here, just because we might not show the baby right away, doesn't mean that I won't just do like a quick little video letting you guys know like that we're okay, how the baby's doing and stuff like that. But I just really hope that people understand and respect the fact that this is our child and we're trying to do what's best for our child and we have to do what makes us comfortable as parents. And I feel like once you put your baby out there uh, into the internet, they're always going to be out there. So I hope everyone understands that that's a really, really big decision and a scary decision to make. But don't worry, you will see the baby. Yes, at some at point some you will. Point you will see the baby. You will get to see the baby. But it's just, just the main thing is just give us time at the start. Yeah, you just got give us yeah. time at the start, and then you will see the baby. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to put it. Eventually, you will, but. We just have to do it when we're ready. We don't want to be pressured into something that we are not ready to do just yet. We want to make sure that everyone is okay, that me, Ricky, the baby, all of us are all right as a family before, you know, we jump into that whole world of YouTube. So I hope you guys understand. And I just really hope you guys can see where we're coming from. And I think most people will understand.
hopefully <laughs> all right so hopefully that answers your question and also we'll keep you guys updated if things change if our opinions change on that or if anything like that happens so don't worry your little selves alrighty <laughs> so enough rambling let me go on to the next question which was what has been the most stressful about being pregnant finding out you're pregnant all that good stuff so I would say I've been working this question what the most stressful part of this is not knowing how the baby's doing yes that is very very true very very part. true because the only indication that we have that the baby's okay is your belly getting bigger yeah That's yeah it. we never know like we will i would say every day i always think to myself what's well, the baby all right today like, like how, what's it doing is it okay yeah, are that, you that's the most yes part. that is actually yeah i didn't think about that but that is very very true i feel like once we can start feeling the baby kick and stuff that's reassurance that the baby's okay but obviously i'm too early into the pregnancy to feel like the baby kicking so our only source of like yeah the baby's all right are ultrasounds i honestly wish i could go to an ultrasound every single day because then i would know every single day that the baby's okay but that is definitely very very stressful especially the first trimester and the first uh, couple months and the first few weeks where we knew that I was pregnant, but we didn't have the ultrasound and we wouldn't have the ultrasound for another like couple months. And we were just kind of like, so what's going on? Is the baby okay? Is the baby developing all right? Like, is it growing? What's going on? But right now it's true, my belly, my, physical changes and just kind of how I feel have been the only indication that the baby is thriving. Um, but if it were up to me, I'd walk around with an ultrasound machine mm -hmm. all the time because I wish I could see it. That's why we can't wait. Every time there's an ultrasound, I just get so excited. The first time was just so emotional, seeing the baby, knowing that the baby was okay, that it's like the right size, that everything was normal. It was just like the biggest relief ever. But besides that, I would just say, I've, try, I've been trying to work on my stress a lot more because obviously stress is not good. So I've been trying to become a more calm, cool, and collected person. Very difficult for me because I always stress out. But how have I been? I, I've been better, huh? Yeah, you've been good. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's the most stressful thing about being pregnant. Next question is, um, how does it feel to have a baby in your belly? Uh, so at first, it was really weird because it, obviously my, my belly wasn't like showing yet so at the start it was kind of like you would wake up in the morning it's almost like you forget that you're pregnant now I can't forget because the belly is out and about and it's thriving so I can't forget that the baby's in there but it, it it's kind of like it's such a strange feeling and it's also it makes you think about everything you do, like everything you eat, you think about, cause you think whatever you have, the baby has, whatever you're exposed to, the baby's exposed to. So all of a sudden you have to worry about everything. So um, that's been fun, not really, because it's like our first baby. So I literally Google everything. I'm like, oh, is it okay for me to eat strawberries? Is it okay for me to eat cucumbers? Can I have this? Can I have that? Um, but yeah. Thanks for good. Thank you, Google Home or Alexa. Oh. oh, yeah, for helping me out because it's literally made my life so much easier. So one of the things that has started happening as well, I've been getting like little flutters and stuff. Okay, don't get conceited, okay? So the first time I felt a flutter, it was Ricky's Ricky touching my belly. And um, obviously the baby's too small, so I can't feel it kicking stuff just yet. Hopefully soon, fingers crossed but I did feel like flutters and it felt like little bubbles in my stomach. And I would have said it was a fart, but it wasn't. <laughs> but Ricky put his hand on my tummy and then my belly fluttered. And the lady did say like, you might feel like little movements in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I got really excited. I can't wait to feel the baby. I'm so excited to be able to feel the baby. Not long now. Just wanted to start kicking me, you know, start kicking my organs. Feel free. Just not my bladder, please. <laughs> I'm going to be like weighing myself. <laughs> All right. And the next question is, uh, are you going to have a nursery and are you going to like vlog all of that so we have a guest bedroom which we're going to turn into a nursery and we do plan to vlog that 
we'll vlog the whole transformation of the room. Yeah, maybe fun once. Fun fact. That's why we bought a four bedroom house. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people were like, "Why'd you guys buy a four bedroom house when it's only two of you?" We always knew we wanted to have kids, so we decided to get four bedrooms so that we could have our offices and we could also have a space for a baby. So we do have the nursery planned out. So we've got to start working on that pretty soon. Um, next question is, are you moody? I'll let Ricky answer that. Have I been moody? I wouldn't say you're moody. I say- Watch you, yourself. You get emotional. <laughs> yes. I would say you've probably, been, you've been pregnant for four months. Yeah. You've probably been moody twice. About two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've been emotional, like, you just get upset, like watching a TV show or- I'll or, sob. Or something like that. I'll just like, I don't know, I just feel emotional and just start crying. But yeah, I've been like cranky and moody in a bad way, like twice. Where it was just like, just for no reason, just felt really angry. <laughs> Yeah, but, not really, but to be angry twice in two months, that's good. To be honest. In four months, that's good. Yeah, I feel like my mood's gotten better since I've been pregnant. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. I think it's because, like, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to become more more chill and just like... Yeah, but I would say it's, not, it's more emotional than moody. Yeah, I do cry really easily. Like, we watched Up for the first time and oh my gosh, I was crying rivers. It was not good. And it's like a like uncontrollable, like sobbing. It's really bad, actually. As soon as someone on TV says, I love you, and they're like, I love you too, you'll cry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is so true. I cried at us watching the challenge over there. Two guys were like, I love you, man. Yeah, it was two guys, like they were best friends. And I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so, um, Next question is, what is the best thing about being pregnant? Best thing about being pregnant is knowing that... Eating? No, it's the baby. The best thing about being pregnant is the baby. And also that I could it's say... Like the best thing, the best present you could get at the end of something. Yeah, it's like you're waiting this like nine months for this amazing little bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. So that's the best part about being pregnant. But besides that, it definitely is the fact that I get to use I'm pregnant as an excuse for everything. And Ricky does everything for me now. So that's great. I come downstairs, everything's cleaned. I'm like, go give me a bottle of water because I can't be bothered to go downstairs. He does it. I'm like, I'm tired. He goes, go to sleep. I'll do it. He cleans the cat poop. You better enjoy it because once the baby's born, <laughs> you're going to do everything for the baby. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's all right, though. So that is definitely a perk of being pregnant is that you could just say hey, everything pregnant just you're pregnant so i was just looking through to make sure i didn't miss out on any questions so last but not least the biggest question the question everybody has been asking what is the gender of the baby oh are you guys ready to find out it's it is a, a horse <laughs> a, <laughs> a horse yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we actually don't know the gender of the baby. So a lot of people think... We don't know. We're finding out. Soon. Next week! Next week we're going to find out. So we're not going to tell you though, but yeah. <laughs> we'll find out next week. And <laughs> you'll probably, you guys will probably know not... Because the order is, right? We're going to find out. Family's going to find out. Then you guys will find out. Yes. So uh, I obviously we don't want our family to have to find out through a YouTube video. So we have to tell them first. And I have family in America and, you know, we have all of Ricky's family here in the UK. So we have to work out a time to tell both of them. And then once we tell everyone, then we will share the news with all of you guys. Um, we're probably going to do some kind of gender reveal video and stuff. Um, I will do a video like trying out. I saw a lot of like um, family vlog channels do this where they like test out old wives tales to see like what to guess the gender. So I might do that video before we get the gender. I feel like gender guessing is like, it's only 50 50 in it. Yeah. Guess. Yeah. But what, and also another question in relation to the gender was like, is there a specific gender that we want? And honestly, we don't care. Like genuinely do not care. Everyone's like, do you do you sway a certain way? No. no. Like literally no. 
I just a want of, a lot of our family are saying it's a boy. That makes me think it's going to be a girl because yeah, I always go against what people think. So. <laughs> You're a rebel. Yeah, so that's what yeah. I think. But honestly, I don't mind if it's a boy or a girl as long as it's healthy. I'm happy. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I know it sounds cheesy and it's a bit of a cliche, but honestly, as long as the baby is healthy, I do not care if it's a boy or a girl. I am going to love that baby regardless of its gender so it doesn't matter it's not going to make a difference for me um and yeah so we will tell you guys the gender once we find out we're well, not right away because we've got to tell everyone first um my sister my cousins they're like just non-stop messaging me asking me when we're gonna find out they all want to know i've got a few family members in america who are having babies soon and uh i think we all just want to know like what's everyone having <laughs> so we can't wait to find out even though like we don't really care it's still exciting to know and it's also going to be the first time where he gets to go to an ultrasound so that's going to be really exciting we should get video footage from it too so maybe we'll insert a clip or something in in the next vlog or something but if you guys have any questions that we didn't answer let us know in the comments down below also tell us if you guys want us to do any specific baby related videos like pregnancy videos and as always let me quickly show you my baby bump ignore the wire because it's from my microphone but here we go you ready to see the bump it's big and also this is not supposed to be a crop top well now it is <laughs> so there is the belly you see it let me move my shirt oh there it is it's thriving the baby is there in all its glory maybe mm -mm -mm. this is all a lie and you're just eating yeah some people have said that some people have commented like i don't think she's actually pregnant then what what is this then what is this okay yeah so um yeah so what's next week it's kind of a busy week for us there's a few doctor's appointments that we have we have an ultrasound to go to to find out the gender we're really excited about that and uh so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to keep you guys updated throughout the whole pregnancy and stuff. Uh, obviously, we did tell you guys how we feel about, you know, showing the baby to the world right away. But we'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. And yeah, thank you guys for being so supportive and so excited for this baby. That's one thing I do have to really say a huge thank you to all of you guys. And just in general, our families and stuff. It just makes me so excited that there's already so many people in this world that love our little baby. And that our baby is loved by so many people. So, yeah. Just a little baby. You hear that? Apparently, the baby can hear me now. So, Do the outro, baby. Do the outro, baby. So I did it. Bye. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>